Hey everyone, and welcome to another installment of the Complete Dentures 2 course at New York City College of Technology. This instructional video is on immediate denture surgical templates using a vacuum form method. The demonstration is done by Professor Sander Polanco and the audio by me, Oscar Galvis. In order to understand the purpose of an immediate denture surgical template, it's important to understand what exactly is an immediate denture and how is it fabricated. Initially, the patient presents with failing dentition that must be extracted. A dentist will take an alginate impression and bite registrations so that you can pour and mount your case. Teeth on the model will be slowly extracted by the technician while denture teeth are set simultaneously. Eventually, following these procedures, you end up with a full set of complete dentures. You then wax, flask, process and finish these dentures with standard complete dentures procedures. Some clinicians may request an immediate denture surgical template that will be used during the immediate denture insertion and surgery. This procedure of making the immediate denture surgical template is commonly done after the boil out procedure. To begin, the modified immediate denture model must be duplicated. Once again, it's usually done after the boil out procedures in the first half of the flask. First, you must select a stock impression tray that fits the model properly. In order to prepare the model properly for the duplication procedures, soak the cast in water for about five minutes or apply a thin layer of petroleum jelly. Mix your alginate impression material and mix it until it has a creamy consistency. Once the alginate material has reached the proper consistency, apply the alginate to the impression tray. You can then apply the alginate also directly to the model to ensure proper coverage. Then apply the tray to the model in order to take the impression. Allow for proper setting time of the alginate impression material. Once the impression material is completely set, you can relieve the impression from the master cast and then pour and trim a duplicate model. You can then load the vacuum form with surgical template material that you desire. It's commonly hard and clear. Then place the model on the metal platform and turn on the heating element. When the material begins to slump, bring the material down onto the model and turn on the vacuum element. The material will be pulled down and capture the detail of any object underneath, in this case, the modified surgical model. To remove the template from the model without breaking it, trace out the borders with a hot knife. It is good practice to section the excess pieces for easy removal. Once the excess has been removed, you can then remove the surgical template carefully from the model. Some vacuum form materials come with a protective film. You can remove it now, or it can even be done before the adaptation in the vacuum form machine. You may finish the surgical template following similar procedures as you would a complete denture. The surgical template must have smooth and properly contoured borders, just as a complete denture would.
In most cases, the model is still intact using this method of fabrication. So you can evaluate the freedom areas that need to be freed while positioning the template back onto the model. If the surgical template material used in the vacuum form is thick and hard enough, you can pumice and polish accordingly. If the material is too thin, you may pumice away borders. Remember that the surgical template is used for insertion of the immediate denture. The clinician will be able to see through the clear template and notice any places of impingement and address them during the surgery. That is why the template should be clear and properly contoured and finished.